Hey guys, T-Max signing in. Hope you're all having a good day. And today I'm going to be bringing you a pro player card review slash test kind of video. You're probably thinking, bro, what are you talking about? Well, for this, I get a player that's 85 rated or above. Drop a plus 10 attribute card on him. Boom, you have a pro player card. What are you lying for? Today we're going to be testing out how Bale's pro player card would actually play. The guy looks like he plays FIFA so you never know he might already have one. And with a little sprinkle of FIFA magic we're going to be making our own. I jump into a game, play with the card as the stats are usually really similar to what the pro player card would be. And then we basically see how things go from there. Last episode Hazard was just, well... You know what, I'm not going to say anything, I'm going to let you go check that out. And let's just hope Bale performs amazing. This is Gareth Bale's normal card, as you can already see it looks OP without us doing anything to the card. So yeah, let's sprinkle a little bit of FIFA magic to give this guy the powers of a pro player. Sprinkle. This is the card as you can see there, who sprinkled a little bit of FIFA magic on him. In other words, put a 10 plus attribute card on him. He looks OP now, now has 99 pace, 94 dribbling, 94 shooting, 96 passing, 94 physical which is insane. He's got some killer stats and playing in that right wing position with the left foot is just going to be insane. Quick side note, if you didn't watch my last one of these videos, I'll link it down in the description. I was covering Hazard, so check that out if you haven't already. And for my next episode, there's two players I'm thinking of using. And for my next pro player card test slash review kind of thing, I'm thinking of two players. I'm not going to say who they are, but if you click on this eye right here, you can vote. It should be somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, somewhere around here. You should be able to see an eye. There's two players there. And yeah, vote on which one you want me to use in the next one of these videos. For those wondering, this is the team I'm using with him. It's a Liga BVVA side with De Gea. And yeah, I'm basically going to jump into a game and see how this pro player card Bale plays. Right guys, I jumped into a game and it was only in the second half I realised my capture card stopped recording. So I played pretty much a full game for no reason. Well done! They should implement like a beeping sound into the old gato for when it turns off or something. Nevertheless, this time I'm keeping my eye on it, it's not going to turn off on me. This is the team I'm coming up against all oh my days. Look at that sweat, Depay, Remy and Oxlade Chamberlain. Pretty sweaty BPO team. Anyway, let's see what Bale can do. Come on Bale. Oh, Bale actually gets back to defend. That's good to see. Rakitic. Whoa. Ref. What is this lag? Come on. There we go. Kono. People have been telling me this guy's good. Is he? Oh, maybe he is. Maybe he freaking... How did he save that? Get out of here. Okay, Bale. Bale. Use your pace. Cut in. Oh, Bale's still going. Oh. Oh, what a save by De Gea. He needed to make that. Griezmann, we see two runs going on here. Come on, Bale. The lag better not interrupt. Bale. Oh, no. Klein got back. Bale, what can you do? What? Guys, forgetting the ball. What am I supposed to do about things like that? Bale. Oh, he skills himself in. Let's just smash it. Bale. Straight at the keeper. Come on. Now, find Bale. Bale, you are through every day of the week. Come on. Bale, smash it. Oh my days. If I tried to pull in, he had a player coming in, so there's nothing I could do there. It's half time, guys. Pretty much 50 50 possession. The lag is freaking messing up this game. Bale hasn't really done much. Obviously, lag doesn't help. There we go. Griezmann is just about through. Hopefully, she placed that across net. Oh my days. Are he was offside anyways. Bale. Okay, Bale is there. Now he needs to finish this. I see that gap. Finish it, Bale. How has this keeper saved that? Kono. Oh, Kono play anchor doesn't care. Oh, that was a nice bit of skill. Okay, Griezmann, finish it. There we freaking go, we're 1-0 in the lead after 64 minutes. The lag is literally taking over this game. But yeah, we've gotten a chance there and actually managed to put it away with Griezmann. It's 1-0 guys. Bale, you need to find space for yourself. There we go. Bale, Bale, finesse that. Bale, how is he not scoring that? Bale, come on, take it out wide, finesse. Thank you, Bale finally gets a goal. It took him long enough, but he gets a goal. It's not been easy, I'll tell you that, guys. This game has been really, really difficult to play, but he's finally gotten a chance, gotten through, and scored. There. Kovacic. Oh, what's that? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Bale, we see you. Boom. Bale, 
Oh, come on, that's a penalty. Thank you. Bell got us the penalty there, and he's definitely taking it. Bell, are you going to place it in the middle? Straight in the middle? Oh, watch him not move now because of the lag. Just watch. Oh, we get the goal. I'll take it. I'll freaking take him however they come. That is Bale on his second goal and it's 3-0. That is the end of the game, guys. The laggiest game I've literally played on FIFA 16 is finally over. The man of the match was actually De Gea. I mean, given the fact I couldn't really do anything with most of my players throughout that game, De Gea did a good job, I guess. Griezmann scored one goal, Gareth Bale scored two goals, which is good to see. Okay, putting a pro player card on Gareth Bale and actually seeing if he would play like a pro player card worked well in this video. Managed to score two goals, as you saw there, and actually played well in game. In the first First game that I played where my capture car freaking messed me up you didn't actually see but he scored a goal and in that game he played decent as well so I think I can safely say if Gareth Bale did have a pro player card it would probably play very similar to his normal card with a plus 10 attribute card on it anyway if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated and down in the comment section I want you guys to let me know who's the best loan player you've ever got on a team or just who are your best loan players in general on your squad I actually wonder if anyone's got Pele in a loan pack Anyways, let me know down in the comment section. And remember, guys, I'll put an eye round about here on the next two players I could possibly cover. You guys can vote there or in a straw poll I'll put down in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. All links, once again, in the description. And for today, this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Hi, if you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. Want to see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it. <laughs> this is T-Max signing out.